What's up everybody, Champs here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the UEFA Europa League round of 32 draw that's happened today. Well, when you're watching this one, it's good. it happened yesterday. So if you watched it tomorrow, by the time you watched it tomorrow, it happened on Monday, December 11th. But anyways, let's get this going. We have, this is kind of like a set here. So here we go. So there are two pots. The first pot consists of the Europa Group League group play runner-ups as well as the four unseeded teams. That's right, the from five, the four of the eight unseeded teams, so from five to eight, from that were placed third in the Europa Champions League. And another pot we have the winner, group winners of the Europa League, as well as the four seeded champion, UEFA Champions League teams So that were placed in third place. So I, I, what they're doing is that the UEFA Champions League, whoever takes in third place, they'll rank the eight teams. They'll rank the eight teams considering by their, their desult, results. And those eight teams will be seated from one to four, going to one pot, and five to eight in another pot. But yeah, let's get this draw underway. First, as usual, I'm going to be telling you guys about the entire draw, who's matched up with who, and my predictions for each match. So yeah, let's get this going. First, we have Br Borussia Dorkman based on Al Atalanta. Now, that's pretty a good match, I believe. Atlanta did good, but this was not enough. Dorkman, Dorkman had a good squad, but again, they recently they recently sacked. I believe they recently sacked their manager, so I don't know. And they have another manager to replace them, so I don't know if. Braga Dortman is going to handle with a new manager, but we'll see. But I'm going for I'm going with the Atalanta in this one, judging by how they will they play. The next one is Nice takes on Lokomotiv Moscow. Have you pronounced that one again? Sorry if I butchered those names, but I would say that Nice. We'll go to the next round because Nice has a nice squad. We got Copenhagen takes on Atletico Madrid, I believe, and Atletico Madrid was were very solid. They were a very solid team. I believe that they were the another team that they were one of the teams that were from the the the. That were from the Champions League that were sent to the Europa League due to being third place. I believe that Europa, that Atletico Madrid can take out Copenhagen. So Atletico Madrid going to the round of 16. Then we got Sparta Moscow and Athletic Bezvibol, I believe. I can remember. Athlet again the Spaniard team, the Athletics, they're going to the next round, the round 16. And then we have the AEK takes on the Dynamo Javier, the Euro Euro Ukrainian team. Now this is pretty good match. This is a match where basically it's at high stakes. Again, the lower tier teams, the two lower tier teams, they're gonna try there, that means one of the lower tier teams can make it to the next round of 16. I believe that Dynamo Kaviet are going to the next round. So, yeah, and then we got Celtic from Scotland. Take on the Zenit from Russia. Zenit has a pretty good squad. They played well in the group stage. Again, there were winners of the group, so nobody there. So then it's going to the next round. We got Na Napoli takes on the Red Bulls Leipzig from Germany. That's 
see Napoli going to the next round because Napoli they have a, a powered squad. If they can turn things around, and then if they can turn th things around in the knockout stage, then they'll have a ch they'll have a chance to go very far in the tournament. Not I'm not going to say that they're going to win it, but they're going to go pretty far in the knockout stage. Next match we got. Serena Savitskaya and CSK Moskva. Again, CSK Moskva is another team from the, from the UEFA Champions League that finished third. I believe that the Russian team, the CSK Moskva, is going to the next round 16. Reason why now, the reason why is like, oh, they're, they're going to to lose this match. No, what I'm saying is that they're, they can rebound from the third place in group stage. They can rebound it. Like they can just bring it back in, into the knockout stage. They can just try to make sure that they can go farther into the knockout stage because they're, they're made it to groups in UF Achievements League. Even though they drop down into the Europa League, I still think that they're a huge threat to this competition. We got Le next up we got Leon facing Villarreal. This is going to be a crazy match. This is going to be an insanely close match. But if I were to predict who's going to make it to the next round, Villarreal is pretty good. However, don't don't think that Leon is going to go down without a fight. So I'm saying that Leon is going to the next round, to round the 16. Next up we got Re. Rio Soledad and Salzburg, the Australian team. Rio Soledad, again, Rio Soledad had, is a runner up the group, but they played they played somewhat well in the Le Liga League, so don't count them up. If they can have the strength of numbers, so for example, like if they can if they can make their plays work. Then they can go far in this competition. So therefore, it's real solid that if they can make those plays work, they can make it to the next round. Then we got Partisan and from Czech Republic. Now this again, this is a tough. This is a tough call because both teams, again, lower tier teams. One of the lower tier teams are going to the next round. So that I would say that the Czech Republic's team of Pizan. They're going to the next round. FCSB and Lazio. FCSB, don't count them out. Because if you watched their match, I knew, somewhat knew what they're capable of. But I would say that, but I, even though they have a chance, Lazio would make them pay for their, like, if they, if FCSB would make, like, if they make a mistake, in that match, then they'll then that means that they're going to lose the match, and the other team will punish them for it. So Lazio, Lazio, of course, they're not going to make mistakes. They hence the reason why they won the group in the first place. So yeah, they can make flawless plays and flawless wins, like flawless plays or wins for the team. So going with Lazio in the next round. Next up, we got Lou Dugaret and AC Milan. AC, AC Milan, powerhouse team, no doubter. AC Milan is going to the next round. And then we got Astania, takes on Sporting. Again, Sporting is a team that failed to qualify for the UEFA Champions League knockout stage. So they're hence why they're transferred into the Europa League knockout stage. But don't count them out yet because they're because Sporting can who knows they can just redeem themselves against this against the Astenia. Astenia is more of like a lower tier team, and Sporting CP just came down from the UEFA Champions League, hence the advantage because they have that experience factor. So in the big stage, so therefore Sporting CP. P, they're going to the next round. Next, we got Osterson takes on Arsenal. Now, 
Before we get to that match, Carson soon was placed in a runner's up position while Athletic, the Athletic, Athletic Brazil, I believe, because they were in the group J. The re reason why Athletics they won their group is they won their group by just one goal difference. One goal difference it all it took for them to be in that group for, against Austerson. So Austerson is in the round of one runner ups. They're going to be now facing off against Arsenal. Arsenal won the group for the Europa League. So I, again, Arsenal, you will see what they're capable of. But Arsenal, I can feel that they can just come straight back. But don't count out Arsenal here because they have the Arsenal. They have the mindset of a Europa win here. So Arsenal is going to the next round. Then we got Mercedes takes on Braga. Mercedes, pretty good team. Don't count them out yet. They're French. Their main French squad, Braga. Again, another main French squad. Another main Portuguese squad. Powerhouse, pretty good. But gotta give it to Mercedes because Mercedes, if they can just make sure that if Braga. Makes a mistake. If Braga d doesn't do handle well with the ball, then Marcellis can fully take advantage of the situation, and Marcellis, which leads them to Marcellis winning the game, also winning those two legs, hopefully. So, therefore, Marcellis, they're gonna go straight to round 16. And yeah, those are all the groups, and those are all my predictions. Let again. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can do each round predictions for the knockout stage, and who knows if you like this vi if you like the videos that I'm making about this one, I can just I can make more videos for the maybe I can make the videos for the entire UEFA Champions, League, entire UEFA Europa League, as well as the UEFA UEFA Champions League. So yeah, like this. Hope you guys enjoy. Like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Because it really helps me out with these videos, of course. Helps my channel out. And of course, comment on your predictions for this knockout stage round of 32. And of course, sus subscribe to my channel for more s FIFA. And if you haven't watched my UEFA Champions League draw predictions, my opinions on that match, uh, on the draw, the predictions that I've seen for the UEFA Champions League. I'll link that in the description for you to go watch. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you guys in next and we'll give you a next prediction in the round of 16 of the Euro Europa League. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. See ya.